Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this old Batman logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is our creation inside Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this logo pasted in and I will open the format properties and I will probably open the color and set it to like uh, light gray so it's not getting in our way. I will zoom in as much as I can in this view like this and I will start with this outer shape which clearly is an ellipse. So I will insert shapes oval and I will draw it in the size of the, you know, of this shape. You know, once I draw it, I don't see anything because it's an opaque fill. So I open the shape fill properties, more fill colors, and I will increase the transparency to around, I don't know, like 60%. So it's a little bit of transparent. Then I will right click and select the set as default shape, which will cause that all the newly drawn shapes will have these properties for the fill and outline. I will use my arrow keys on my keyboard to position it a little bit better like this and I'm happy with the result. So I will continue with the bottom part which is probably easier than the, than the top part. So I will start with this. Maybe before I do anything I will copy paste this shape one more time because I may use it in the future. I will open the selection pane and just hide it for now. Maybe I will hide both of those so they are not getting in our way. I will insert a new shape being the oval like this. I will rotate it like this and I try I'll try to somehow match this uh, shape with this the hole on the bottom like this maybe a little bit more rotated this seems about right so I will copy paste this shape one more time and rotate it more to the left and as you can see I have to make it also much much bigger so it's uh, filling this hole nicely okay something like this that should work Okay, so those are two shapes. I will copy it and paste those shapes one more time. And what I will do is well, I will group them so I can flip them. So I'll select rotate. First, I will of course group them holding the control G on my keyboard. Then I will rotate it, flip it horizontally and move it to the left side. I will most likely select all four shapes and select the... Uh, I cannot merge because those are in a group. So I have to first ungroup this one. So I will select ungroup. Then I will select all four shapes, select Merge Shapes Union, so I have one shape out of, out of those. Show one of the ovals and select both of them, first the oval, then the bottom part and select Merge Shapes, Subtract. So now we have the oval bill, you know, without the bottom part, which is great, so we can move to the top part. I will most likely hide this, as you know, so we can focus clearly on the top part. And it seems like that there is like the circle in here. So I will insert a new oval, but to hold the shift key, so it's a circle. So it's like circle in here, around here. And there is then there is this little bit of going outside or on the side. So maybe I can do what I can do is draw a new ellipse and try to somehow you know match it with these circles just so they are they are touching like this. This should be fine. Okay, for the right side, it could be a circle, but I believe we can uh, fake it with maybe a rectangle because the circle would have to be really tall. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it with, with the oval. If I just uh, rotate it a little bit, maybe I can rotate it using the you know number controls. If I right click and select size and position, I can quickly change the rotation in here just so I don't have to you know, keep trying to find the, the rotation handle. So maybe minus two degrees, maybe minus three, even more. It should be like minus five most likely okay so minus five it is so let's let's do it like this so it's those are shape those shapes are touching like this okay this seems about right so i will select all three shapes and select merge shapes union so i have one continuous shape and i will you know copy paste this shape one more time move it to the same spot and i will flip this horizontally and move it to the right side so i will later on i will subtract it from the main shape but before I do that I want to draw this uh, indent in, in here around the head and I will probably start with I don't need a format shape anymore I will start with the shape being this uh, this one where it is okay this one is the trapezoid I will draw it in any size rotate it by 180 degrees by holding the shift key on my keyboard and I will try to position it just so that the you know it's kind of matching the uh, sizes of those ears. So I have to probably resize it like this. 
okay this should be around fine and the, the head it seems like it's being a little bit curved so instead of uh, using a rectangle I will use an ellipse like this okay so I have all these shapes what I will do is I will show our previous shape which is this one I will subtract those uh, holes so select format uh, sh merge shape subtract and I will subtract also this one then I will subtract the trapezoid from this shape I'm selecting with the control sh uh, control key on my keyboard on this uh, selection pane so merge shape subtract and I will add back the not this one but the small oval so I'll add back the oval using merge shapes union so we have the main uh, Batman shape if we want the outline as well we have the oval so what I can do is I can just resize it from the center which has to be with the control and shift key maybe not the shift key so just so I can change the size it should be a little bit different so maybe maybe like this and I will try to trace the outer part of the logo I will zoom in and make sure that everything is fine like this and I will change edit the shape maybe I will just copy paste this shape one more time and what I will do now is I will select the format edit shape change shape and I will change the shape to uh, the outline of a circle which is this circle hollow and I will just grab this yellow handle or orange handle and move it to the left just so it's just the outline so we have all the shapes which we need we just need to somehow colorize them and set the right to fill and outline so I'll move the picture on the left and all our shapes to the right like this I will reset the colors for the picture so format reset picture so this is uh, this oval is like the background so for the background I'll right click select the format shape and I will set the line to no line and fill of course should be yellow so I'll use the eyedropper tool to sample the yellow color and those bo those two shapes should have the line set to no line as well and the fill should be black of course without any transparency and that's it that's how you create the old batman logo inside microsoft powerpoint in almost no time thanks for watching